Hello and welcome. I'm back to work on this Sanyo M9980LU boombox. Um, the other day I noticed one of the microphones wasn't working so of course I have to open this thing back up and I'm going to go ahead and do an alignment of the long wave um, AM and short wave bands. Now here's my hookup as a piece of uh, test equipment. I'm using this AM FM generator. Since for an unknown reason, I sold my little leader, I think it was the LSG-16 or something like that, which I should have kept. Now I'm going to hook up my VTVM, my old um, heat kit, to the, here the external um, speaker output. And for that I made myself a little adapter here. Now here's what I'm using to couple the signal from the... Uh, signal generator to here to this uh, antenna here. All, I've, all I have here is a, basically a alligator clip lead and I'm just going to go ahead and just drape drape that over that and, and that and that's going to have to do. In fact you can already hear something coming out of the signal generator. I'll just turn it up a second. It's already coming up. Of course, the, I'm using the uh, Heathkit voltmeter. That's going to be my tuning indicator, and that's of course hooked up to the external speaker jack. Uh, this is stereo unit, so um, I'm using this channel to do my adjustment. The other channel, I can go ahead and monitor everything a little bit. I can turn that up or down. And this one, that one channel, I've got the basically I'm turning the volume control all the way up to max, basically. That's what I'm on right now. What we're doing here is injecting the AM signal at the IF frequency, which in this case is 460 kilohertz, not 455 as it normally is. I guess this is kind of arbitrary. There's no reason why it could have been 460 or instead of 455, or it could have even been 450 as a standard and this is supposed to be at 30 percent uh, modulation which is good as with this um, instrument here I can go ahead and basically dial that in so another thing I did here is I marked all of the transformers so I know which the original positions were in and also um, I had to figure out in the service manual where they were actually at the board so I got them marked here uh, there's actually four of them for the IF adjustment I, and uh, you're supposed to do those it doesn't say to do them in any particular order so I'm going to go ahead and start with the lowest one first um, and then just work my way up, work my way up to the last one now here is uh, T303 transformer 303 which I'm going to be tuning and for that I'm using a non-magnetic non screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and here is my old heat kit now I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment see if that makes any I'm going to turn that slowly oh that's Definitely going the wrong way, that's a fact. Okay, you just gotta twiddle around with it. And it um, has improved a little bit. I can see the markings I made um, no longer coincide with the slot of the screwdriver, so there's been a like a little marginal improvement here's the old position I'm going to put this back in the old position and that was the old position right there now get the new position right there so now I'm off to my next one which is T304 which you can see that right here and I'm going to see if that makes an improvement. 
Nope. In fact, um, best to keep it right where it was at, seems like. Now, of course, if I would be turning here the screwdriver in the slot and I would it wouldn't change at all here if the needle wouldn't be doing anything then I know I've actually got a problem in the circuit but so far everything's been reacting what about this one same thing here Okay, that's slightly different. This is the old position. And here's the new position. Slightly better. Um, now to the last one here. That was 303, 304, 305. Now I'm going to 306. And... And that'll be it for the IF, the Intermediate Frequency Adjustment. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's going the wrong way. On the wrong way again, so um oh that's way off. Keep going. Uh that's basically right where it was before. Somewhere around there. So I would say uh that's about at the same position as before, so really that two have made the difference, two of them did it. Okay, so this part of the adjustment now is done. The IF adjustment is finished. Of course, I could go ahead and I'm probably going to go run through it one more time off camera. Um, make that adjustment just in case, you know, one adjustment of one affects the other one. So next we want to adjust the low end oscillator tracking because we want our dial indicator to match with the actual tuned tuned in frequency. Um, that's why we're at the low end, that's why we're adjusting a coil. Uh, if we were at the high end at the other side, what is it, 1500 or 1600 kilohertz, and of course we would be adjusting a trimmer capacitor. That's why we're doing this adjustment. And here I'm supposed to um, feed in a 505 kilohertz signal uh, modulated by a 400 hertz signal. That's the 400 hertz that we're hearing there right now. And that's at 30%, which I've already actually got it set up. And there you can see I'm at the low end of the dial scale. And you can see I've already made some marks right here. And just a little turn here. You can see here what happens with the meter. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn. I'm going to be turning clockwise now. I'm slightly off of the marks I made. So really, you can see there it's going up going down really not that much of an improvement I can get so our next adjustment is the oscillator trimmer capacitor once we hear that word trimmer we know we're dealing with the higher frequencies again the coil is in the lower frequency the capacitors are the higher frequency so you're supposed to inject a 1650 kilohertz signal um, and that's um, modulated by a 400 hertz signal at 30 percent 
and what you do is turn your radio dial to the high end of the dial scale. I've already did that and you're supposed to adjust VCT2-2. Now I didn't know which one this is because um, I couldn't really tell from looking at the service manual. One of my service manual pages is blank and I'm, I'm, uh, I bet that's the one that shows you all the uh, tuner adjustments. So what I did of course I marked I marked everything here, made a little mark so I know you know my starting point in case something goes wrong. And um, I figured out I turned these. There's like four adjustments on here. I turned three of them. Three of them didn't make a difference, uh, but the fourth one actually does. I just turned it a little bit. And now I've got it back in the original position, and now we can see what uh, actually happens. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn the top adjustment now. Again, I'm feeding in a 1,650 kilohertz uh, signal or 1.65 megahertz signal, if you will, if you will, and that's modulated by a 400 hertz um, frequency signal. So um, let me go ahead and make that adjustment here. Okay, evidently I'm going the wrong way. Okay, that's making quite a bit of difference, so I'm going to go ahead and have to adjust the meter scale. No, now it's going back down. See, it's peaking about right there. Okay, so I've got that done. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to show it on camera, but I'm going to go back and do the first the low end adjustment, which was feeding in the 505 kilohertz signal. And for that, I had to adjust the coil L1113. So I'm going to do that again, and then I'm going to do this again. Sometimes you just have to do this like a couple times, and then leave it at that to get the best result that you can. So now comes the AM antenna adjustment and for that I have to feed in a 600 kilohertz signal modulated by 400 hertz at 30% modulation and the dial scale has got to be dialed into 600 kilohertz. Um, the dial pointer has got to be at 600 kilohertz on the dial scale and I've been working the whole time to uh, get this loose heating it up a little bit at a time and scraping a little bit of uh, wax off and um, so slowly getting it to work free and uh, so now I'm going to start shoving this thing back and forth or rather moving it slowly back and forth you can see right there it's on about two right there and Progress is slow. Okay, it's going up somewhat. Nope, that's too far. Can't have that. So right about. Nope, the other way. It's just you got to just fiddle with this. And I'm going to leave that right there, that adjustment. And later on, I'm going to go ahead and put a little wax on. So next, I'm going to adjust the AM oscillator um, high end, basically. What I have to do is feed in a, a 1.4 megahertz signal. And that's going to be modulated by 400 hertz. And the percentage of modulation is going to be 30%. And for that, I have to adjust a little uh, right there on my fingers poking down there a little 
trimmer CT2 and of course I'm going to adjust that for maximum. I'm going to try to basically peek it out. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn that little uh, trimmer CT2. I've already got it marked. You can see me turning it here. It goes up to peak and it starts going down. So it did make a slight difference. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop for now and then just um, do the whole thing again.